This is the 60th anniversary for the Pete Fountain's Half Fast Walking Club. And Bill Capo, our old friend, is live there now with more. Good morning, Bill. <laughs> Good morning, Leslie. It's always great to spend Mardi Gras with you. Happy Mardi Gras, lady. And I'm with one of the leaders of Mardi Gras. This is Benny Harrell. He is the captain of Pete Fountain's Half Fast Walking Club. I always have a little bit of fear when I say half fast. How many a, times have you screwed it up? You've had a little hesitation on that this morning, you Bill, but that. it's early. Happy Mardi Gras, buddy. Happy Mardi Gras to you. This is the 60th walk for Pete Fountain's group. Y'all started the first one was 1961. I know you weren't there. You and I were just kids then. <laughs> we were. But, but what is it like on the 60th year? Uh, this is a big tribute for us. You know, this thing has become, the walking club's become generational. So we had grandfathers, sons, and sons, uh, grandsons walking with us today, and we carrying on his tradition the right way. So it's the Diamond Jubilee, and you've got about $75,000 worth of diamonds <laughs> on, your, on your jacket there. What's, what's the colors of the jacket? Uh, uh, the color of the jacket is officially it's chartreuse, but a lot of people chartreuse? say chartreuse. Who in Pete Fountain's group knows what chartreuse is? We had to look it up to spell it correctly. <laughs> but it's, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, you all have been wearing tuxedos really pretty much since uh, Hurricane Katrina. Uh, and uh, now, you used to wear costumes. Yeah, we, we did. 1961, the very first year, Pete Fountain. It was just a, a bunch of his band members and buddies and family members and just walking and the wives came with them that year? That's correct. They just, it was very loose. They put the family members, great musicians together and a bunch of friends and they went walking. Beverly, Pete's widow, told me that uh, they looked so shambling. She said that they were interrupting the Rex crew as they were uh, marching and it looked so terrible. Uh, yes. She said they really were a half, <clears throat> didn't have the F, the F on the uh, thing. Pete, Pete thought that was a great name, didn't he? Yeah, Pete loved it, he was, but, but, but uh, his wife made him change it <laughs> yeah. for the good. That was 1961, yes, so correct. <laughs> you didn't use that, those words. That's right. I always thought that Pete was just trying to screw up reporters like myself, because we <laughs> always drop the F. Uh, <laughs> but you had 200 members here. Pete passed away in 2016. I know you guys are going to miss, be missing it today, aren't you? But his spirit's here with us, and that, it's in all of us right here. It's, you know, it's from the city, the, uh, the soul of the city. And uh, he's with us today, but we do miss him deeply. I know. But yet, you're going to go out and have the best time ever, aren't you? Because if you didn't, Pete will come back and haunt you, huh? We're going to celebrate in his honor, and he liked to celebrate, so we're going to have to do it good. So you got 200 members, you got the truck with the band on there, you got a, it's a new one this year that y'all have. Uh, yes, it's a bandwagon that we have, and we have a 12-piece band. A lot of these guys played with Pete for over 20 years, so they know the music well. It's going to be a heck of a day. What are y'all throwing this year? Uh, we're throwing our, our typical um, clarinet beads, our shield beads. We have our Diamond Jubilee certificates because this is the Diamond Jubilee. And uh, we're throwing cups. Well, we'll be with you all day, Benny Harrell, uh, and can't wait. It's always been one of the most fun things to do on Mardi Gras Day. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Bill. Happy Mardi Gras to all you guys. Reporting live from Commander's Palace, I'm Bill Capo. Bill, thank you so much. We'll look for you on Bourbon Street later.